Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been wondering which graphics card is the best choice for your next PC build, today we've got an exciting showdown between two heavy hitters, the RX 7600 XT from AMD and the NVIDIA RTX 4070 T Super. These two GPUs are aimed at gamers looking for solid performance, but they have very different strengths. By the end of this video, we'll help you figure out which one suits your needs. Whether you're after a budget-friendly option or a powerhouse for 4K gaming, we've got you covered. Stick around as we compare features, performance, and everything in between to help you make an informed decision. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay updated with more in-depth reviews like this one. Let's get into it. Let's start by taking a quick look at what these two cards offer. On one hand, we have the RX 7600 XT. This card is designed for gamers who want great performance without spending a ton of money. It's built on AMD's RDNA 3 architecture and comes with 12GB of GDDR6 memory, which is perfect for smooth gaming at 1080p and 1440p resolutions. Whether you're running popular titles like Call of Duty or Fortnite, the RX 7600 XT gives you solid frame rates at high settings. It also packs a base clock of 2.1 GHz, which means decent speed for most modern games. But what really makes this card stand out is the price. For the performance you get, it's one of the best value options in its range. On the other side, we have the NVIDIA RTX 4070 T Super. This card is a powerhouse, designed for gamers who want to push the limits. If you're looking to game at 4K, or you need top-tier ray tracing and AI-enhanced performance, this is the card you want. The RTX 4070T Super runs on NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, which offers improvements in both performance and power efficiency compared to previous generations. It has 12GB of GDDR6X memory, and its clock speed reaches 2.5GHz, making it significantly faster than the RX 7600 XT. But the real magic happens with NVIDIA's DLSS 3.0. This technology uses artificial intelligence to generate extra frames, boosting performance without sacrificing visual quality. It also supports advanced ray tracing features, making lighting, shadows, and reflections look incredibly realistic. Whether you're diving into a visually stunning game like Cyberpunk 2077 or playing at 4K, this GPU is built for high-end gaming experiences. Before we go deeper into performance, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. Plus, we got tons of exciting content coming your way. Let's talk about the actual performance of these two cards. First, the RX 7600 XT. As mentioned earlier, this card is great for gaming at 1080p and 1440p. In my tests, I pushed it through demanding titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it held its own, delivering smooth, stable frame rates. At 1440p, I saw frame rates of around 80 to 100 FPS, even on ultra settings. What's impressive here is how it keeps things running cool, even when the system is under heavy load. The RDNA 3 architecture helps with power efficiency, so even if you game for hours, the card doesn't get overly hot, which can be a real plus for long gaming sessions. But now, let's see how the RTX 4070 T Super compares. This card is more than just fast. It's designed for those who want the absolute best. In my testing, with ray tracing enabled on Cyberpunk 2077, the RTX 4070 T Super was able to handle the game at ultra settings with smooth frame rates of around 90 to 120 FPS at 1440p. And at 4K, it didn't struggle either, delivering 60 plus FPS with DLSS 3.0 boosting the frame rate significantly. What's really impressive is the combination of DLSS 3.0 and ray tracing. If you've never experienced ray tracing before, it's a total game changer. Shadows, reflections, and lighting all look more lifelike than ever before. NVIDIA's ray tracing is so advanced, you'll notice the difference right away. Now that we've gone over the performance, let's talk about the pros and cons of each card. The RX 7600 XT has some definite strengths. First of all, it's incredibly affordable for the performance it provides. If you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p, this card is perfect. 
You'll get smooth frame rates and decent visuals without having to spend a lot of money. It's also energy efficient, meaning it doesn't put as much strain on your power supply or cooling system. However, the RX 7600 XT does have a couple of weaknesses. One of the biggest downsides is its ray tracing performance. While the card does support ray tracing, it doesn't handle it nearly as well as the RTX 4070T Super. The shadows and reflections just aren't as detailed, and the frame rates can drop significantly when ray tracing is enabled. Plus, AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution FSR just doesn't quite measure up to NVIDIA's DLSS 3.0 when it comes to boosting frame rates while maintaining image quality. Now, let's talk about the RTX 4070T Super. The pros here are clear. First, it's an absolute powerhouse for 4K gaming, ray tracing, and AI-enhanced graphics. If you want the best possible gaming experience with everything turned up to the max, this is the card for you. It's also got the edge and power, delivering better performance at higher resolutions, like 4K and for more demanding games. The inclusion of DLSS 3.0 also ensures smooth frame rates, even in the most graphically intense titles. The downside to the RTX 4070T Super, though, is its price. It's much more expensive than the RX 7600 XT, and you're paying for features that might not be necessary if you're just gaming at 1080p or 1440p. Additionally, because it's a high-performance card, it also uses more power, which means you'll need a solid power supply and good cooling to avoid issues. So, how do these two compare to other graphics cards out there? Well, if you look at the RX 7700 XT or RX 7800 XT, the RX 7600 XT is a bit of a steal in terms of price to performance ratio. However, the RX 7800 XT does offer more power, better ray tracing, and a higher price tag. On the Nvidia side, the RTX 4060 T competes more directly with the RX 7600 XT, but it doesn't have the same power or ray tracing capabilities as the RTX 4070 T Super. It's a good option if you're looking for something more affordable than the 4070 T Super, but it falls short in certain areas. So, who should get the RX 7600 XT, and who should go for the RTX 4070 T Super? The RX 7600 XT is a great choice if you're gaming on a budget and don't need 4K or advanced ray tracing. It's perfect for 1080p and 1440p gaming and offers great value for the price. On the other hand, if you're into high-end gaming, 4K gaming, or you want to experience the best ray tracing and AI-driven